There's nothing like a good old fried bologna sandwich or an old fashioned cream soda to take you back in time. Sweet Charlotte in Dixon County will definitely take your taste buds on a trip down memory lane. Tammy Arnder takes us there in our first story. Not too far off the square in the charming little town of Charlotte, Tennessee, population around 1200, you'll come to a crossroads. It's at the intersection of highways 48 and 49 that you'll see something quite unexpected. I think the community thought we were probably, I was a little crazy <laughs> to say the least, but I figured if we made the building cute enough, because this building was an old hardware store built in 1940, I felt like if we have 6,000 people stopping at a stop sign every day and the building happens to look like a kind of a cracker barrel, that at that stop sign, they're going to look over here. I think the risk reward, if you will, wasn't really a hard decision because I just felt like it, the locals would support it, which they have, and then just drive by traffic. So it's, it's pretty special. Jeff Waddell and his wife Marianne ditched the big city life in Dallas, Texas and moved to Dixon County and opened up Sweet Charlotte. It's a candy shop, it's a soda shop, and it is also a popcorn shop. We make all our popcorn. It's gourmet popcorn, so you'll get some flavors that you've never tasted before. You'll find some old-fashioned sodas, roughly 130 different old glass bottle sodas. In full disclosure, the move was so they could be closer to their daughter and grandchildren, but it was also an opportunity to create a piece of the past where customers are carried away by their taste buds to a time that was simpler, slower, and a whole lot sweeter. We've had multiple occasions where I will go over in the candy section and, and I'll look up to our customer and they've got tears running down their face. And that's why I say it's, it's a step back in memories because it's not only with kids are we creating the memories that they're going to share probably 30, 40 years from now, but the older generation that experienced grandma had a favorite candy bar or mom had a favorite sucker. I remember those days. Waddell was in the office furniture business for most of his life, but when he made the move from Texas to Tennessee, he knew he wanted to do something different. And the idea of having a retro soda, candy, and popcorn shop popped in his head. So I do my own popcorn. We have anywhere from 15 to 20 different flavors. The savory are the cheeses. We use real cheese in our popcorn. It's not a big powdery kind of thing. We do our own caramel buttery caramel and you know I'll put my buttery caramel against anybody else's. So it's buckets and buckets of buttery popcorn with flavors like lemon drizzle and cheesecake and his creative staff doesn't stop at popcorn they make homemade fudge and turtles. The girls make all the fudge and I think I'm gonna get with the girls and we're gonna rename turtles to like sea tortoises or something because our our turtles are massive. With more than 100 different kinds of sodas and hundreds of different flavors of candies, there's something from nearly every era. Probably about have about 130 different candies. From my distributors, I try to get as many throwbacks as possible. You know, I kind of lost count on the tap, the different taffies. We have candy cigarettes. Everybody loves candy cigarettes. I mean, I can't tell you how many boxes we go through candy cigarettes, wax lips. I remember when I was a kid putting on little wax lips and then chewing the wax. There's also a grill on site where you can get hamburgers and hot dogs and a fried bologna sandwich, something Waddell was a little skeptical about at first. The employees suggested that we add fried bologna sandwiches. I was a little bit surprised and not quite sure what they were talking about, but it's one of the staples out of the grill. That's really popular, and we hand cut our fries. And once you're done eating, it's time to hit the Rusted Rags Old Time Photo Studio, located in a 200-year-old cabin, where I had a ball pretending to be a saloon girl in the Wild West Saloon from the 1800s. Now give me one of them straight faces like your crops didn't come in, girl. <laughs> Melissa and Vanessa literally have dozens of authentic vintage rags from the past and backdrops to make it look oh so real. 
There's something about playing dress up and getting to taste things from the past that put a smile on your face. And Waddell knows this. So what does he want people to leave with after a visit to Sweet Charlotte? That was a fun experience, that it was worth the drive.